When Valve announced the new Steam machine, something stood out right away. The official specs listed HDMI 2.0 support, even though the hardware clearly has an HDMI 2.1 port. It looked like a mistake, but it turns out there is a much deeper reason behind that choice. Today, I want to break down why Valve cannot fully use HDMI 2.1 on SteamOS, what HDMI actually is and what HDMI 2.1 adds, and why the HDMI forum is blocking open source support on Linux. Before I jump in, if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing. If you want to see more Steam, Steam Deck, and all things Valve hardware, this is the channel for it. Now, HDMI or High Definition Multimedia Interface is the standard cable used to send video and audio from a device to a display. It replaced other connections like DVI or component cables because it carries everything in one plug, video, audio, metadata, and even remote control signals. But HDMI is not just a cable, it's a licensed technology. Companies must follow a specification pass, a certification test, and pay licensing fees to use the name HDMI. Now, HDMI 2.0, which released all the way back in 2013, supports 18 gigabits per second. It's enough for 4K, 60 Hz, and basic HDR. HDMI 2.1 is a massive upgrade. It jumps to 48 gigabits per second, unlocking 4K at 120 Hz, 8K at 60 Hz, HDMI VRR. It has much lower latency. It supports better audio return, better HDR handling, and far more headroom games. So if a device has HDMI 2.1 hardware, but the software cannot expose those features, you lose a lot of the benefits of it. Now, the HDMI forum is a group of companies that develop and manage the HDMI standard. There's a ton of companies in it like LG, Sony, Philips, basically anybody who makes TVs and screens. They control the technical specification, the certification process, the licensing rules, and how manufacturers are allowed to implement HDMI features. And here is the key part. HDMI 2.1 cannot be implemented freely. The forum requires proprietary components that cannot be open sourced. So Linux-based drivers like AMD GPU cannot legally ship full HDMI 2.1 support because of their open nature. So when Valve unveiled the Steam machine a couple of weeks back, they listed HDMI 2.0 support even though the physical port is 2.1. They did that because SteamOS cannot implement HDMI 2.1 in an open source driver. Valve even had to validate 2.1 features under Windows because the AMD driver on Windows uses the required proprietary code. Now in early 2024, AMD tried adding HDMI 2.1 features like 4K 120Hz to their open source drivers and they spent months building that driver but when they submitted the work the hdmi forum rejected it immediately and keep in mind amd is one of the companies on that forum so at that point an open source hdmi 2.1 is just not possible without violating hdmi forum requirements so valve is now running into the exact same wall amd did a year ago now valve has come up with a way to come around some of the limitations so to still reach 4k 120 hertz on SteamOS, valve uses chroma subsampling this compresses color information to reduce bandwidth. It makes text look a little bit blurry and soft sometimes, but generally in gameplay, it's usually very hard to notice. It lets an HDMI 2.0 driver fake some 2.1 capabilities. However, one of the biggest losses here and something that you can't fake is VRR variable refresh rate. HDMI 2.1 normally includes HDMI VRR, the universal TV standard. But without full 2.1 support, Valve can only offer AMD FreeSync over HDMI. And many TVs support HDMI VRR, but not many support FreeSync. So some setups will not get adaptive sync at all. And this begs the question, I'm actually curious, does this affect your own setup? Do you have a TV that supports VRR? And do you use HDMI VRR or FreeSync if you've used that before? Uh, it, I'm not sure how many people really are going to be facing this problem but it will be for some consumers. Now, all of this information is derived from an article written by Ars Technica. They had an interview with Valve, and Valve said they're working with the HDMI forum to unblock the situation. That could mean they're negotiating approval, pushing for changes, or they're trying to unlock HDMI 2.1 because HDMI 2.2 is already out. And since 2.1 is the older technology, the forum might be willing to loosen restrictions. And again, do you think this is a deal breaker for the success of the steam machine or for your own personal use of steam machine or do you think this is just some behind the scenes tech drama that uh, people love to nitpick about and this is not just about valve 
It highlights a bigger issue with Linux hardware. Open source drivers cannot always implement features that require closed licensing rules. HDMI is one example, but in the past, Wi-Fi, HDR, and even USB sometimes run into similar barriers. So would you prefer Valve push harder for open standards? Or are you okay with closed components if that means that you're gonna get some features sooner, but you would have to use certain hardware to get those features? So to summarize, the Steam machine has HDMI 2.1 hardware, but SteamOS cannot legally expose the full standard. And Valve is working to change that, but this decision belongs to the HDMI forum, which are not easy people to negotiate with. If you enjoyed talking about the Steam Deck and all Valve's hardware, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this specific video, consider leaving a like. It truly helps the channel grow. And let me know in the comments if the lack of HDMI 2.1 is a deal breaker to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.